Altrincham back onto winning ways this afternoon with a 3-1 victory over Colwyn Bay and we're talking to Stuart Coburn. It's first uh, victory, uh, Stuart, since uh, January the 4th in the league. Uh, so it's an important game for us uh, to get our charge back up the table on uh, beam again and we got off to a fantastic start. Yeah, if we'd have said that at the start of the game that you'd have been 2-0 within how many minutes was it? 10 minutes. Um, we'd have took that definitely and it was important because they haven't played for a few weeks so... Um, to just to get going again and get a couple of goals ahead, it sort of eased everyone into it, and um, we just went from there really. Two great strikes from uh, James Walshaw from very very similar positions, but different. Yeah, that's what Wally is. He's um, he, well, he showed with his third goal when he could just dinked it, but that's what Wally's about. He, he he's a goal scorer everywhere he's played, and uh, give him a chance. And he's, I thought his second goal was very good because the keeper had given him a big area to go for, and he just curled it past him. But that's what Wally's about. He was uh, ex exceptional today. We started very well. I'm sure Frank Sinclair was uh, unhappy with his defenders because certainly on the first goal, he's uh, been given a lot of room from the throw-in and from the second goal also, they haven't really got very tight to him, but he's done his job. He's put the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, he has. It's, it was a good goal, um, but the gaff had said to us earlier that they'll be a bit leggy, which you could see from them, and just to keep turning because he was spacing behind them, which we did second half. But um, no, he wouldn't have been um, too impressed with him, but um, to go 2-0 up so early, we, we was controlling the game then. And they've had a little bit go back at us, but we've defended very well in the first half and you've just had the one shot to save, which was a good effort from uh, maybe 22, 23 yards. Uh, but it was dipping and a difficult one for you to deal with. Yeah, it was. It was a good shot. You're going to get chances in games, but to limit them to one chance in the first half, um, we did really well. And we've just been joking in there about the amount of headers that Scotty had today. He just, I think we're going to have to get him a helmet in future because uh, he was just him and Luca were superb. Denzi tucked in, Griff the other side. So we did really well, yeah. Colwyn Bay have started the second half uh, quite well and they were just beginning to turn the screw a little bit uh, and then all of a sudden the game's turned on a minute. They've had a free kick, uh, the ball's broken in the box. You've made a great save. Within a, a few seconds, you made a second really good save and then with a few further seconds, we've scored a third goal. Yeah, we, we switched off from the um, the free kick, which they got. But they would they would have had a bit of a rocket at half-time and uh, they come out ours, which we knew and that's why we were told, just, just turn them, let's squeeze ourselves up, don't play too deep. But um, the first save, I didn't make it at the post. It's Because uh, Buzz asked me, did I make the save? I, I didn't hit the post. And then um, they got a free kick. Um, they took it quick. Our defenders had just switched off. And I made a, a save. And then it, we broke on them quickly. And it changes the game then, 3-0. Uh, I know they, they had chances after that. But I think that the game was dead and buried then. Classic counter-attack as well and superb finish. Yeah, it was. Wally was through 1-1, so he's got a lot of time to think of it. I don't know if Damien was beside him where he might have passed, but it's not a chance because Damien won't pass to Wally in that situation. and He, he, he finished it really well. We've had further chances. Uh, Damien's gone very close and uh, uh, James Walsh has gone very close uh, as well with a whistling shot that went past Santa's uh, left-hand uh, post. So we've really created a good few chances this afternoon and our finishing has been excellent. Yeah, it has. It, well, considering we've not played for two and a half weeks, the, lot, the boys look really sharp. I know a few at the end were saying they were tired, which you're going to get at the end. We've not played and the pitch is heavy down one side particularly. But um, no, we made some really good chances. Greaves, he said there, lad said his chance was over the line. He said, but the linesman wouldn't have been able to see it with him sliding in. James had a chance. Nicky had a chance. Um, I think Den's at the end whistled one, which Reeves wasn't too far away. So we we created a lot of chances, which we've not been doing in recent games. So that's a, a massive positive. And at uh, 3-0, they've had a, a penalty and uh, you've saved it and held on to it. Jonathan Royal, who's had uh, not the best of times against Altrin and got injured in the trophy earlier in the season, got a booking today and now he's had a penalty saved by uh, your good self. Yeah, well, one of the lads said that I think the number eight who did score in the end um, wanted the ball off him and he was like, no, he was adamant he was taking it. But the way he lined up, I thought there's only one way you can go here it, it, and it was a soft penalty. But if I dive the other way, it just rolls in, doesn't it? So that's what I'm there to do. And eventually you were beaten, which is disappointing because you've not got your clean sheet, but it was a good strike by Sean Williams. Yeah, it was a very good goal. It ended up in the um, the side netting on the far side. So sometimes you're going to get beat by shots line. It was a really good goal. It was a, a bit disappointing from where it's come from because I think we could have defended a bit better, but every goal really you can defend better. So, But 3-1 after we've not played for two and a half weeks, we'd take that all day. 
Yeah, good good performances all across the pitch today. I thought everybody did their job and uh, we, we, we were at it right from the word go. I'm sure the manager's delighted. Yeah, he said at the end, he says, look, I can't ask anymore. You've not played for a few weeks. He says, I know some of you are a bit tired. He says, but it's going to be Saturday, Tuesday now, probably till the end of the season. So if we need to go on a run to get ourselves up into the playoff spots and then see where we go from there. So this was a, a great chance to do it, which we've done. Because Colwyn Bay, I believe, I've got a good um, a good record um, away from home. So we've now got to go to Oxford and make that three points, really. And then working to next week. We need nine points for the next three games and we've got three today, so... Yeah, they've uh, Colin Bay before today scored, uh, taken more points than any other side away from home in the league, so there are no slouches, but in the end we've put them to bed comfortably. Yeah, we did. We knew it was going to be difficult because... Uh, the way they played um, away from home, they set up, they played like three up front, try and pressure. So we can only do what we do. And it, it, it was important just to get back to, to winning ways because the games we've had have been like play on a Tuesday, miss a Tuesday, play on a Saturday. It's been broken up. So it was it was good to get the three points today and hopefully we can push on now. Oxford on Tuesday, uh, one thing we do know about that game, if it goes ahead, it's going to be played on a very poor surface. I think they all will be. A lot of them now, when we, we play Workington next week, and I'm sure Neil will do his best on the pitch, but he's very heavy everywhere we go at the moment. It's going to be very similar. So you've just got to adapt. Play when you can play and uh, turn teams when you can. And it probably will be poor there, but it'll be the same for them. We've just got to go and do a job, really. And we're back on the edge of the, the playoffs this evening, up in uh, seventh position. It's very, very important to take three points today because if we'd have drawn or lost, we could have been just moving the wrong way uh, down the table. Yeah, it's just about picking up points. We've got games in hand on the teams above us and we've got to play a lot of the teams above us as well. So it's uh, just about picking away at it and see where we end up come the last game of the season. But if we keep doing what we're doing, because about this time last year, we went on a great run. So if we can do that again, then we've, we've got every chance of achieving something. And finally, uh, top end of the table, uh, Telford beginning to look a little bit ominous. They've won again today. Ferriby have dropped uh, some points against uh, Gloucester City, but uh, there's there's a few good sides up there. Yeah, well, well when we played um, Telford at home, they're a big team all throughout the team. The direct, you know what you get from Liam's teams. And uh, I said that earlier on in the season, I thought if if we're not there knocking on the door, then I thought it would be Telford because Liam's been there, done it, surrounded himself with players who have done it before and he knows how to win this league. So um, we'll, we'll see and just see how we go. That's uh, Stuart Coburn there. Very pleased with uh, Altrincham's performance in the 3-1 victory over Colwyn Bay. We now move on to our next uh, encounter, which is at Oxford City on Tuesday evening.